all, if you watched the video and they didn't say hello to you, how would you feel? I don't really care, but they do do that. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. Right, but how would you feel if they didn't? If I just had a little intro that I played and was like, let's get into it. Let's get right into it, y'all. I'll be like, yes, sir. <laughs> like, sir, let me see them highlights, bro. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna get right into it then. Uh, we're gonna be making this skirt today. Uh, this very cute tweed Chanel inspired skirt. This is the fabric we're gonna be using. It's a tweed, it has red, white, and navy in it. So we're gonna start with the pattern. You're just gonna need a basic skirt pattern. Um, so that comes with the two back panels, the front panel, the waistband, and then you're gonna just need two strips. If you have a basic skirt pattern, you can use that, or you can go ahead and grab your favorite skirt and use that as a pattern. So I just use a basic skirt pattern, um, and then I cut out the front panel on the fold and then the back two pieces there. That's where the zipper is going to go and make sure to add your seam allowance. And then here I'm just measuring to see if this is enough fabric for me to use for the waistband, which it was. And this is also why I ended up having two pieces for my waistband, just because I wanted to save fabric. And then I'm going to use the skirt pattern to determine how wide I want my side fringe to be this is where you can make the fringe a little longer um, you can use the measurement uh, but this is really just a lazy way just lay it on top of it and and cut around it you can also do a straight strip this is just an alternate way that I did it and this is where I saved some more fabric and went ahead and used the rest of this piece of fabric to cut the waistband. I made the waistband four inches wide and I'll add how to draft a skirt pattern in the description below. Um, so you can go ahead and watch that. I also wanted to make a point to remind you all to make sure you change your thread. If the color doesn't match, don't continue. Um, I know this because I do this all the time, especially if it's something for me, I really don't care. But, you know, just make a point to get it right. I didn't get this on camera, but we're going to start by sewing the two back panels together and leaving that space open for the zipper. All right, so after you've sewn those two back pieces together, we're gonna lay that flat, um, preferably on a surface that has space for you. Um, <laughs> but you're gonna lay that right side facing upward. And then you're gonna take those two strips and place them on the two side seams. Make sure you line it up. And then you're going to take that front piece that you have and line that up right on top. Make sure everything is lined up. Make sure that strip is in line so you don't forget to sew that. And then you're going to pin down the side seams on both ends. And then you're going to do a straight stitch down each side seam. You can possibly do a zigzag stitch as well to make sure that it stays, but I did a straight stitch and it stayed perfectly. I'm sure there is a better way to um, sew the side seams just to make sure that the strip doesn't come apart once we unravel it. Um, I'm kind of just making this for myself, so I'm not making it to perfection. Um, but if you have suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments. Okay, side seams have been sewn 
and now we are going to flip the skirt inside out and you should be able to see that shrimp um, just hanging out the hip of the skirt so at this point I just decided to go ahead and start unraveling that strip that we sewed into each side seam this is probably something that you would usually wait until the end to do I'm pretty sure y'all can see I'm in my pajamas I'm chilling so unraveling fabric for me is like a chill thing to do like I remember when I was younger and everybody wanted their pants to be like distressed and whatnot I did that like while watching TV or just chilling um, and so like I don't know I think I correlate that to like a relaxing relaxing thing and so obviously like I'm in relaxed mode so <laughs> I just went ahead and did it and then we'll move on to the waistband and the zipper and speaking of distressing pants I think if you've done that, you'll do very good at this portion of unraveling the fabric because you can kind of tell like which um, which threads you should pull on or which ones you shouldn't. Um, and so obviously with this, we want the horizontal threads to not be messed up or anything. Um, but when I was unraveling it, some of the vertical threads wanted to stay in, I guess. And I didn't want to like force it to come out so what I did was just cut the vertical threads to line up with the horizontal ones if it was still in there so that's why I was cutting and now you can continue to enjoy your chill time and do the other side so I'm gonna be honest I sold my waistband before I sewed the zipper, but I'm gonna tell y'all the right way. So once you're done doing the side fringes, you're going to do the zipper before you do the waistband. It looks better always. It probably feels better, I don't know, but I know that is the right way. I'm gonna link a video in the description of how to insert a zipper with a waistband. Because, you know, I don't want to send y'all off. So, um, definitely look at that and then come back and, you know, finish out the video. But I want to, I want y'all to do it the right way. So, look at that and then come back. I'm going to... Oh, he ain't never double back. This man stayed down in Call of Duty, but y'all didn't hear that from me. But anyway, it's a new day. Yes, this is why I said this skirt took me forever, but unnecessarily. I was doing one seam a day, basically. <laughs> but anyway, we're on to the waistband. Um, you can cut a full strip. I'm pretty sure I've already said this in the beginning. I ended up cutting two strips and had to sew them together. Um, so I just went ahead and did that and then I'm gonna fold it. And then I'm going to pin the waistband to the skirt and then sew it. Now I didn't really record me pinning the waistband to the skirt in a clear way. Um, so what I would say is just make sure the raw edges are matching. So the two raw edges of the waistband, make sure that's matching the raw edge of the top of the skirt. Um, the waistband should be on the outer part of the skirt. And when I say the outer part, I mean the right side. So the side that you will be wearing it on. Make sure that the waistband is on that end while you're sewing so when you flip it up, it'll be correct. At this point, the last thing we have to do is work on the hem. This clip, obviously, the waistband was not sewn down, so just ignore that. Um, so I'm just deciding where I want my hem to be. Um, honestly, what you can do, you have two options. So you can either leave it be, 
and fringed bottom to add a little extra layer of design or if you would like a finished hem see where you want your hem to be pin it and then go ahead and sew it down make sure it's all lined up and you are good to go much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and anything else you would love to see from me go ahead and comment um i would love to speak to anyone who has any thoughts about what i'm doing um and also one thing i wanted to add i might redo this and make the fringe a little longer add some drama um this is honestly my first test run and i like how it turned out but i kind of want to turn it up so let me know if you make this skirt and thank you again for watching.